Alice Ball was born in Seattle in 1892. Her grandfather was a famous photographer, and in his darkroom, Alice was introduced to the wonders of chemistry. She began her formal education in chemistry at the University of Washington and then moved to Hawaii to earn her master's. In 1915, she became the first African American and the first woman to graduate from the University of Hawaii. In the early 1900s, there was a public health emergency. Leprosy, now known as Hansen's disease, was spreading. It causes numbness, skin lesions leading to permanent disformities, and damage to the nerves and eyes. To this day, we aren't entirely sure how the disease spreads, but we now know that it is not very contagious. Back then, police arrested the sick and isolated them in the Kalapapa leper colony on the Hawaiian island of Molokai. At the time, there was only one source of relief for leprosy, the thick, sticky oil of the Chalmugra tree's seeds. But it was impossible to mix the oil with water in order to make a suitable treatment that could be injected. Our body is mostly water, and the oil by itself was ineffective and painful to inject. Rubbing it on the skin or swallowing it didn't work much better. Alice was on the case to figure out how to create an injectable cure. At age 23, Alice developed a new way to treat the dense Chalmugra oil. After isolating the ethyl esters in its fatty acids, she found the oil could be blended with water for injection. This new treatment, which became known as the Ball Method, helped the colony of people suffering from leprosy. No longer feared to be contagious, the sick did not need to be isolated. By 1918, patients could see their families and new patients were no longer forced into exile. Alice died too soon and too young in 1916 while teaching a lab. Many think she accidentally inhaled chlorine gas. She is now remembered for finding a cure for what seemed like a hopeless disease. She blinded me with science Hit me with technology